Um, could you explain um, the relevant areas of Sharia law um, that involve an element of capital punishment? Ah, all the best bits. <laughs> <laughs> There is a clear incompatibility. It can't be accommodated as long as we're still part of the European human rights system. The, the, the Sharia law thing, I, I'm sure people are familiar that there are Jewish courts in the UK. And, and you never hear the question, why Jewish courts? Would that not be him not being able to practice, for example, his religious beliefs? Like, how, where do you draw the line? Apostates is misunderstood within Islam. It's best translated as treason against the state. That is the best, that is a better translation. Well, I mean, theoretically, I think uh, in America it's still outlawed treason, and in some places it could be killed. Uh, you could be killed for, for treason against the state. So, doesn't make it right. Well, um, I, I don't think you have a basis to say it's wrong. Uh, that's that's my point. Um. People believe that so the you know, liberalism as ideology is is, uh, is defined by its tolerance. But by necessity, it actually is intolerant, and it, and, it, and it, you know it's, it has to be by its, its creed because if it's not, if something is not liberal, according to liberal worldview, that's injustice, and then how can liberalism tolerate injustice? And hence, it has to then start to impose itself or deny um, other systems to exist because they're not liberal. The Jewish community have been advocating for the needs of their community for well over two thousand years. We've been living. In, un under the rule of other countries for well over 2,000 years. Uh, yeah, well, I guess uh, liberalism has actually taken quite a bashing tonight. I think it's. I think you're being a bit harsh on not Western society. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was uh, being gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I was there.